draft ambiguous to laser. Okay. Good evening, everybody. I'm Chandrima Bhattacharya, currently an undergraduate student from Indian Institute of Engineering Science and Technology, Shippur, which happens to be the second oldest technical institution in India. Today, I am here to give a short talk on microbiome diversity and materials. So I will be covering the following topics today. I would give a brief introduction to the data set because it's new, and we would then move to methods used followed by results received and the inference drawn, concluding with future extension of our study. The basic question is, why microbiome? And why study their significance in subway? There are around 10 is to 1 bacteria cell to every human cell in an individual body, and a total of 100 trillion microbiomes in our body. Also, there are a huge number of subway around the world, which are used by billions of people for the daily commutation. Our study focuses on finding a correlation of subway microbiome affecting everyday lifestyle for planning a smart city and also for improving general health of citizens. Now the data set details. We have used an early release of microbiome data by Metasub, mostly focusing on New York City and validating our results with those of Boston City. A more detailed description of our data collection method is mentioned in the table. This is the methodology used by us for analysis. The data initially was in the form of DNA, DNA sequence rate compression, popularly known as the DSRC format. We uncompressed them using the DSRC toolkit and the SRA toolkit to get the sequence file, which we analyzed by using MJRust tool. Also, we calculated the alpha diversity for getting a better insight of data before analyzing it. Alpha diversity is the diversity of each local species pool. The following equation given here in the slide is used for calculating alpha diversity. Here, the N refers to the number of subunit in the data set. WJ is the nominal weight of the subunit J. QD alpha J is the effective species density in the subunit J, with Q being a constant. Details of the workflow mentioned in the previous site is written here. This is the preliminary insight of the data gained by comparing with multiple protein hierarchical databases like COG, NOG, and KO. We have also used the SAP system and found that a vast majority of the microbiomes are from clustering-based, protein-based, and carbohydrate-based databases. We have taken a set of stationary material like wood, metal, metal plastic, and have computed the alpha diversity for those material. The average value accounts to around 49, which imply a significant diversity. The material chosen but such that it existed on multiple locations. For example, the park and the subway in our case. The standard deviation here reflects the spread of alpha diversity for a given material in a given location. We have also compared data for non-stationary material, that is fluid. The water sample from canal and subway were compared. The alpha diversity value you can see in survey is 100.15, which, uh, sorry, 183.33, which is the mean for all the data set, and 603 for one for kernel data set. This is significantly higher than that of the stationary material. Now coming to the taxonomic analysis of New York City. We have found a very inter interesting phenomenon about New York City. There is a predominance of bacteria here. Many samples sh show complete absence of other domain like eukaryota, virus, etc. Interested in this phenomenon, we went to study other material like plastic, concrete, animal in the form of fish gut, 
and our observation was similar. A deeper analysis proved that most of the bacteria was from the domain proteobacteria. Some sample had more than 95% microbes coming from phylum proteobacteria. Other than canal, all other, did, all other area was enriched in gamma proteobacteria. Only the canal showed an abundance in delta proteobacteria. Now what I have explained in the previous slide is given here in the form of representation. So irrespective of delta proteobacteria being mostly an aerobic genera, we find that the canal shows an abundance of anaerobic genera like desulfobacterials, desulfovibronils. Moreover, the other common genus present in the canal ecosystem also exhibit anaerobic respiration. Hence, it might suggest a decreasing oxygen content in the canal region and also enrichment in the sulfur in that region. Now, the abundance of gamma proteobacteria in all the other area except canal can be explained as gamma proteobacteria is the most abundant class of proteobacteria. The genera shows significant variation with respect to material and area. To enhance our understanding, we have further compared our data with Boston. Boston City shows a more balanced ecosystem with the presence of bacteria, eukaryota, archaea, and other domain. The most common taxonomic division observed in the two capital city are highlighted in the table. So there are various avenues to expand our study. For example, a more detailed analysis on material can help us figure microbiome resistance on material. Moreover, beta analysis can also tell the intramaterial diversity about the data to develop smarter cities. Mapping with the human microbiome can help us develop medicine and cure for many ailments. With time being a constraint, I'm not going to go through individual references, which I mentioned in the slide. I would like to thank Dr. Malay Bhattacharya, my supervisor, and also Pinaki Chakraborty and Rohit Pandey, who helped me with the analysis. I would give a special thanks to ISMB and Garbesu for supporting me and making the event possible for me. And I would like to thank the wonderful audience for being with me. Uh, I will be there in A175 if you have any other question. Thank you. Thank you.